Good morning. We are Heinz Global RIT. I'm Grayson Pratt. This is my associate, Evan Doremus. We're both regional sales representatives. RIT means a real estate investment trust. What that means is that we take investments from parties just like yours, group those together, and put them in an offshore commercial real estate fund. In this presentation, we're going to explain to you why we want to do commercial real estate instead of private why we want to go offshore instead of investing right here at home, and why we want to invest in real estate itself instead of other types of investments like, say, bonds, stocks, or cash. But first, Evan, can you tell me a little bit about our company? Yes, I can. Uh, Hines has over 3,200 professionals worldwide, and we also have offices in 18 countries and over 110 cities alone. So that's just Hines, that's overseas also. Getting into commercial real estate is the most profitable way to invest because it has the highest growth rate. It doesn't change, it has a low fluctuation rate, which means it's not gonna, like your percentages aren't gonna change, you're not gonna have to worry about the prices going up or down, it's gonna stay very, very stable. Also, the diversification is much greater outside of the US. Grayson, can you tell me a little bit more about that? In any kind of stock investment, you wanna, you want to diversify your funds. You don't want to put everything into one single place. That's why, imagine imagine you're in the stock market. You're not going to put all your money into Apple. What if Apple crashes, you're done. You want to go, maybe Apple, say Nike, anything like that. You want to diversify. So that's why we want to go into emerging markets outside of the US. If the US crashes, you want to still be stable. These emerging markets, in 2050, 19 of the largest markets are going to be the ones right now that are Three quarters of all real estate right now is outside of the U.S. Less than a quarter is U.S. You don't want to be investing in the small amount that is in the U.S. right now, leaving out that whole fund that you're going to be missing out on in, say, 20 years. Can you tell me a little about that income that they're going to be missing out on? With commercial real estate, the potential income growth is the greatest out of stocks, bonds, and cash, as Grayson said. Real estate, whenever you, you put money into commercial real estate, it grows. In 1996, $10,000 was put into commercial real estate. By 2011, it had grown to over $37,000. That's more than stocks, that's more than bonds, that's more than cash, almost all combined. So with that, the volatility rate is the lowest. That goes back to the fluctuation rate. So whenever you put your money into commercial real estate, you don't have to worry about the prices rising or lowering. It's going to stay the most stable. It's actually under 5% of change. And that's more of going back to stocks and bonds. You're not going to have to worry about, like you said, the stock market crashing or any of that. It stays very, very stable. Now, here's the key We talked about commercial real estate rather than private real estate companies, rather than stock market exchanges, rather than bonds talk about diversifying your money into these emerging markets, into the ones that are going to be growing, not one that's already at its peak and can only go down. Tell me a little bit more about the company. Yes, now not only the point of this presentation was to tell you about commercial real estate, but it was to advertise Heinz itself. Heinz itself has over 302 million square feet outside of the US. So the emerging markets and the Heinz profit is going up as we speak. Also, in the U.S. alone, there's $18.1 billion worth of commercial real estate here in the United States, and that's going to help your money even more here and outside of the U.S. Does anybody have any questions? 